Alright, quick little video today to talk about the new scale hubs from GCM. These are called uh, GCM lock and these are really really small so I'm going to wheel these right in here as close as I can to try to get you a view of these delicious little hubs. This is our new GCM lock hub. It's quite a bit smaller than an RC four wheel drive version in diameter and in height. These are only seven millimeters tall and they're about six and a half millimeters around plus they're at the base that is and plus there's some detail uh, in there. It's kind of a mix between a, a, a Toyota lock and an aftermarket and a Isuzu and all kinds of stuff. We sort of blended everything we could find until we came up with this little gem and uh, I'm going to show you the quick little installation technique here. So uh, as you can see we've got our GCM wheel on here which probably has the most thread sticking out of any rim combination on any axle that I've ever seen. We have really thin rotors at GCM and uh, so a quick little uh, assembly video here. This is how you uh, go about shortening your shaft on the end of the uh, axle shaft and that there's, that's really important because these hubs are so small in their total height that you really you actually can't have all of this thread sticking out. So as you can see here on this wheel you can see how much thread is sticking out past the wheel nut and that's a lot. So uh, you gotta cut that off. And this is the way that we did it. We actually had the wheel installed on the truck just like the other side and then we put the nut on, the regular M4 nut that everybody's using for their wheel. And we put the nut on and then we cut a mark in the wheel uh, axle with the Dremel. And then you can remove the wheel and put the nut back on and then cut the rest of the axle threads off where you made your mark and then you take the nut off last. And the reason you do that is because if there's any burr on the end of the thread when you take your wheel nut off it will actually clean up the burr so that your new wheel nut would go on real well. Now that's important to cut that off because uh, if you don't there's going to be too much thread sticking out for your new wheel hub so let's just go ahead and take this off. We're going to take off the uh, lock nut that we saw there and then put our new hub on and uh, that just goes straight on there by hand and then you can crank it on with uh, this is a 5 16 nut driver uh, you can use an 8 millimeter or a 5 16 that's fine and you turn that down until you get it onto the base and uh, you're done I'll give you a look at that How's that for a beauty? And that's it. So, that's the installation for the GCM locking hubs in the rear. Uh, the rear hub is the same, except that, as you can see here by this difference, in the rear, there isn't any uh, engravings or markings on the rear hub. The rear hub is just a plain hub to cover the axle stub and that's it and you cut off your axle the same way in the back and uh, there's the new GCM locking hub